Yoshimi battles the pink robots by the flaming lips. Um, there's nothing really about the premise of that song that isn't totally awesome, so I figured I had to play it. And it's only got five chords, it's not terribly hard, except as you could probably tell, it's pretty, I don't know, I had a hard time switching between the E minor and B minor for some reason. Anyway, um, I loved your last video. Uh, I've never heard that song before. Um, I've only heard uh, like half a dozen Daft Punk songs, I guess, maybe less than that. I'm not too familiar with them, and I've never even heard of Interstellar five 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 five. five. Um, so that's apparently something I need to check out. Oh, and also, I'm super jealous that you got to go belly dancing with Kendall and her mom because that sounds like about the most fun thing you could do in an evening. Anyway, about that song, I originally wasn't gonna play that, like, that wasn't the song I was sort of planning on learning for the week, and I was listening to a lot of Regina Spector earlier in this week, and I was thinking, oh, I should learn a Regina Spector song. But as it turns out, most of Regina Spector's songs are really hard, and there was really only one that I could figure out. She will kiss We need to play together drunk. There's really no excuse to be singing that sober. Marianne's a bitch. Marianne's a bitch. Marianne's a bitch. So, that needs to be our new drinking song, in my opinion. So, ukulele is not our only hobby. Uh, you and I have other hobbies. Um, we like to do together. One thing that I like to do with you is have food adventures. And so I figured this week my uh, video blog was going to feature uh, a food adventure that I want to involve you in. So I've been trying to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables lately. And melon is really my favorite fruit. Um, where I come from, the only melons I know of are cantaloupe, uh, honeydew, and watermelon, really. So when I was at the grocery store, I found a melon that looks like this. As you can see, it's yellow and has sort of like a wrinkly texture. Um, and it's hard. And I have no idea what kind of melon it is. The sticker says it's from Brazil, but I really don't know what it's like inside. So I'm gonna cut it open and we're gonna try it together. Okay, here we go. Are you excited? I'm excited. Side. It doesn't look too ripe either, but hmm, let me give this a shot. Hmm. It tastes a lot like a honeydew. Looks a lot like a honeydew on the inside, but not really on the outside. A little less sweet. It tastes almost more like um, like a crushed melon and a squash. If that makes any sense, but it's good. I like it. So I hope you have 
a really nice week. Um, I hope that you're not buried in snow, as I've heard most of the continental United States apparently is. Um, um, I had to close my curtains because the uh, light was messing up my video here, but it's been really nice in Ireland lately, so glad I'm at where you are. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.